What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom Queen's Gambit themed chessboard. First we're going to start off with a silicone chessboard. I got this off of Amazon for $20 and it's, it's perfect for this. We're going to go ahead and count the amount of dark squares we're going to need because that's what we're going to customize first. There's 32 of them. I think all chess boards have 32 of them, okay? Next, we're gonna go into IMDB and search up the Queen's Gambit. Now, if you're doing a different film, search up that. You're gonna hit more and go to photo gallery. Now, under photo gallery, there's gonna be a bunch of sort of stills from the show, from some of your favorite scenes to different characters, to maybe even some behind the scenes stuff. So go ahead and just pick out 32 different film scenes that you wanna capture. Now, take a look through these photos. Now, this Queen's Gambit has over 700 but just pick 32 scenes or stills that you like. I included some different characters, some different moments throughout the show, and um, just go ahead and save those. You might have to screenshot them. Next, you're gonna import them into Photoshop, and you're gonna shrink them down to a one inch by one inch square. That's the same size as the chest squares that we're gonna sort of customize. You're gonna put them into the squares, fit them to size, and do this over and over again until you've got all 32 of them. Next, I grabbed a stack of projection paper off of Amazon. It's transparent paper. It looks like it's got a white background, but it's made for like custom stickers or if you're making a presentation, this stuff is great for that. Just like a sticker, you're gonna print on the shiny side and it's gonna peel off. So you can basically make transparent stickers or film. Go ahead and load this into your printer. Now make sure it is glossy side down. It depends on your printer actually, but mine rolls and prints onto the top. Go ahead and hit print in Photoshop. And just like that, we've got our 32 custom chess squares printed on a transparent paper. From there, we're gonna go ahead and cut out each individual square and set them aside. Now it's time for the resin. I always use art resin. It's great for a project like this. Very simple to use, one for one parts. It's awesome. So go ahead and put in part A and pour the exact same amount of part B. We're using a silicone cup as well, so it's reusable. Now I picked up this mixing tool from Amazon. It's overkill for a project and an amount of resin like this, but it just saves me some time. I don't like using the popsicle sticks. Um, the, the big issue is it puts a lot of air into your resin. However, I've got a vacuum chamber, so it's not a huge deal for me. I can get rid of that easy. Now I wanna show you what, <laughs> I wanna show you guys something. When you don't pay attention to the degassing process, okay? I'm basically letting air back in. I was looking away and it totally overspilled, made a huge mess. But um, that's what happens, gotta stay focused. Next, I poured a thin layer of resin onto our chessboard. Now this is just to cover the bottom, just to get a nice little small layer of resin in there. You're gonna hit it with the heat gun. If you're working with resin, guys, do yourself a huge favor. Buy a heat gun. They're super cheap from Home Depot, and it is absolutely an essential piece if you want clear resin. I then sort of moved the board around so the entire board got covered with resin. Just because there's a lot of different squares, it kind of got stuck in parts. Then I peeled off my individual squares and slowly started to put them into the chessboard. I used some tweezers and sort of just pushed it down to help it. Yeah, and I think you guys can sort of see the idea of where it's getting customized here. And go ahead and just do this over and over again. I didn't put two characters side by side and sort of mixed it up. The first three rows are facing me right now. And then the following three rows are gonna be facing the opponent. That way, when you guys are playing chess, you both can see the scenes right side up to you. Also, during this process, don't worry if the film sides start to move and shift because we're gonna fix that in a little bit. I let it sit for about 45 minutes and poured another layer just to sort of cover the film slides. And you can see how they've sort of drifted and not necessarily positioned properly. That's no problem. We're gonna go in with the tweezers and fix that. In fact, I sort of monitored it over the span of three hours and just kind of came back and just realigned them. Now for our final layer, it is very aerated again because I'm using this tool. Now I wanna show you guys, look how rough this surface is. When you have a heat gun, look how satisfying this is. Boom! It just, you rush it over really fast, pops all of the bubbles, you're gonna leave it for like 30 seconds, do another pass, and just do it over and over again until you have crystal clear resin. Just like this, it's like glass. 
So we're done with this piece now. Now we're gonna move over to custom chest pieces. For this project, I'm using black diamond pigment powder. You can get like sample sets on Amazon of like 10 different colors. This is just a small baggie of one. This is blissful blue and green. Sort of like this cool unicorn color. I'm just eyeballing it. Just pouring a little bit of the powder into the, some already mixed resin. Gonna go ahead and stir it on in there with my tool. I'm not super worried about aeration when there's dye in the resin. It's only when it's crystal clear where I don't wanna see the bubbles. Now for our chest pieces, I'm using this silicone mold. Each piece is one half of a chest piece. So for one side, you're gonna need two of them. So I've got four of them in total. Go ahead and pour it in. Get every piece. You don't need to over pour, but I've got a solution if you do, don't worry. And for our other set of chess pieces, we're using Midnight Blue. So this is kind of this really cool pearly midnight blue color. It's awesome. I'm gonna mix that in and repeat the process. So keep in mind, one tray is only one half of a chess piece. You're gonna need two trays to equal one full set. Then I like to go into the popsicle stick and just sort of brush over the top of the molds to get any sort of excess resin off so it's completely flush. We now have to wait for it to cure a little bit. We're gonna leave it overnight. It's not gonna be fully cured in the morning, but we're gonna at least be able to touch it. The next day, it is time to remove our chessboard. You'll notice how soft it is, guys. When you're pouring a thin layer of resin like this, it will take over 24 hours to completely harden. So it's gonna be malleable. You're gonna be able to bend it. Try to keep it on a flat surface because if you hold it bent, it's gonna dry bent. But it looks great, I'm so happy. It's, it's this clear, I didn't think this was gonna work. I've never done this technique. It just sort of, I thought of the process in my head and I'm so glad to see it actually work out. Got all of our Queen's Gambit film scenes. When it's on a white surface like this, you could really see all the different scenes. Another option is you just hold it up to a window or a light source and you could see all the scenes even better. Oh, it looks so cool, I love it. Now it's time for our chest pieces. They are still very soft. So I'm gonna pop out one half just to show you. Take out the other half of the same side. Now, if you guys are doing this and they fully dried, I highly suggest you sand down the inside and then super glue them together. But for the sake of this video, they're still soft. I can squish them and almost fuse them together. Although super glue is a better option. And just like that, that is how the chest pieces are gonna come to life. One by one, just line them up, squish them together or glue them together. You're gonna have your very own custom chest pieces. And there we have it. This is actually one of my favorite DIYs I've done in a long time. It turned out amazing. I didn't do any sort of tests beforehand. I'm so thrilled that the whole transparent paper thing worked. Um, and if you guys like other movies, you can totally shift it. You don't have to do Queen's Gambit. I just thought it was very fitting because of chess. And yeah, I'm gonna have some photos over on my Instagram if you guys wanna check this out, at Danocracy. And I might do a giveaway for some chess pieces. So follow me over there for more info. If you guys are going to try this, be sure to tag me. I'd love to see what you guys do using these techniques. Um, as always, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Later.